These groups are making commitments that include expanding employment opportunities, engaging with communities and providing support, and enhancing collaboration. In a statement from Kensington Palace, it was announced that Homewards aims to showcase that by working together across all sectors of society, it is feasible to eradicate homelessness in the UK, making it an infrequent, brief, and non-recurring issue. The statement also emphasized that, aside from making a tangible impact in each local area, Homewards plans to utilize the insights gained from each location to create a proven model that can be adopted by other regions in the UK and internationally. Furthermore, the program intends to enhance awareness and optimism regarding the issue of homelessness. Prince William has disclosed that he was inspired to initiate this project since his childhood, particularly during his visits to The Passage, a charity dedicated to assisting homeless individuals. As a member of the royal family, he understands the questions that may arise about his ability to address such a significant problem given his privileged background. However, he believes that he can leverage his influence as a royal to bring together individuals, organizations, and businesses to collaborate effectively. Amanda Berry, the CEO of the Royal Foundation, expressed excitement about Pret's commitment to expanding its Rising Stars program, emphasizing the essential role that businesses can and should play in addressing homelessness. She anticipates that the announcements made on this day will inspire action in Homewards locations and beyond over the next five years. Pano Christou, the CEO of Pret & Manger, acknowledged the efforts made by the Pret Foundation over nearly three decades to provide vital support, training, and employment opportunities to people facing homelessness. He emphasized the need for collective action and expressed pride in working with Homewards and Prince William to further develop the Rising Stars initiative. In other news, Prince Harry is returning to the UK for the first time since June to attend a charity award ceremony hosted by Wellchild. The event in London aims to celebrate the accomplishments and resilience of seriously ill youngsters and their families who receive support from Wellchild. Meghan Markle, his wife, is not expected to join him at the event. Harry has been Wellchild's patron for 15 years and regularly attends their annual award ceremony. The award ceremony coincides with the start of Harry's Invictus Games, a competition he founded for wounded military personnel and veterans. It will be held in Dusseldorf, Germany, over eight days. Meanwhile, Prince William and his wife, Kate, are heading to France to support England and Wales in the Men's Rugby World Cup. Kate, who is the patron of the Rugby Football Union, will attend a group stage match between England and Argentina, while William, the patron of the Welsh Rugby Union, will watch Wales compete against Fiji. Kensington Palace has stated that no additional public appearances are scheduled for the prince and princess during their time in France. This visit comes after William faced criticism for not attending the Women's England football team's World Cup final last month. In summary, these commitments and actions by various groups and individuals, including members of the royal family, aim to address homelessness and provide support to vulnerable individuals and communities in the UK. These groups are making commitments, including expanding employment opportunities, community outreach and support, and enhancing collaboration. Kensington Palace released a statement outlining the objectives of the Homewards Initiative. It aims to demonstrate that by fostering collaboration across all sectors of society, it is possible to combat homelessness in the UK making it a rare and brief occurrence. In addition to achieving tangible results in local communities, Homewards plans to develop a tested model based on findings from each location, which can be adopted by other regions in the UK and internationally. The program also seeks to raise awareness about homelessness and instill hope that it can be eradicated. Prince William's motivation to launch this project stems from his childhood experiences particularly his visits to The Passage, a charity working with the homeless, alongside Princess Diana. Despite his privileged background as a member of the royal family, Prince William believes in using his influence to bring together individuals, organizations, and businesses to address this pressing issue. Amanda Berry, CEO of the Royal Foundation, expressed enthusiasm for Pret's commitment to expanding its Rising Stars program within the framework of Homewards, she emphasized the crucial role that businesses must play in making a meaningful impact in this area. 
Pano Christou, CEO of Pride and Manger, also expressed their dedication to supporting people facing homelessness through initiatives like the Rising Stars program. He stressed the importance of collective efforts in addressing this complex issue. In a separate event, Prince Harry is returning to the UK to attend a charity award ceremony hosted by Wellchild, an organization that supports seriously ill youngsters and their families. This marks Harry's first visit to the UK since June. Although Meghan Markle has attended similar events in the past, she is not expected to join him this time. The award ceremony coincides with the start of Harry's Invictus Games, a competition he founded for wounded military personnel and veterans, taking place in Dusseldorf, Germany. Meanwhile, Prince William and Kate Middleton are traveling to France to support England and Wales in the Men's Rugby World Cup. This comes shortly after William faced criticism for missing the Lionesses' historic World Cup football final. Kate, the patron of the Rugby Football Union, will attend a match between England and Argentina, while William, the patron of the Welsh Rugby Union, will watch Wales compete against Fiji. Harry is traveling from the U.S. to attend the Invictus Tournament, which he established as a Paralympic-style competition for wounded and sick ex-military personnel. The tournament begins with a grand opening ceremony in Dusseldorf. Kensington Palace stated that there are no further public appearances planned for William and Kate during their time in France. Their decision to support the men's teams in the Rugby World Cup follows criticism for not attending the women's England team's World Cup football final in Sydney last month, despite William being the president of the FA. Dear friend, if you like everything new about the royal family and don't want to miss all the novelties, subscribe to our channel and like it. By doing so, you take part in our development. We work for you.